everyone, and thanks for tuning in to our second segment on Almond Ket. Here we're going to be opening a Almond Ket bundle. So if you're not familiar with these, these were formerly fat packs, but now they are called bundles. They come with 10 packs instead of 9. Everything else stayed the same. So um, in our last video, we didn't get an invocation, so we're going to hopefully get one here. Um, let's go ahead and crack into this. I'll go over everything that comes in it before I start opening the packs just so you have an idea uh, what to expect out of one of these guys. The first thing you can expect is really hard to open shrink wrap. So, um, yeah. Alright, first thing we got, um, you've heard me talk about these before, the player's guide. Um, this is going to have everything in it. Uh, as far as the set goes, it's going to tell you a little bit of lore of the set and then it's going to go over every individual card what um so you can sort of use this as a checklist and check them off if you're a set collector like myself um it does explain all the the invocations to you so you come across these uh little check boxes to mark those off <clears throat> again like i've mentioned in other videos hang on to those those are worth something down the road um then we have this cool almond Ket, uh collector's deck box to, if you want to you know, keep your whole set in there so you can build your collection and, and be able to easily identify it. Then we've got this really cool blue translucent dice with the uh, Almond Ket logo on it. So that's one of the cooler looking dices that I've seen out of there. And here they, they also did something else. Um, you've got double sided tokens that are exclusive only to your uh, in, in the bundles. So you're going to want to uh, definitely buy these to get the double sided tokens. Uh, then you get your land pack. Um, again, you're going to get 10, 20 of each land in this. So you're going to want to check that out. And then we've got 10 packs of almond cutting here with some sweet deck boxes. <clears throat> so let, let's see how we do. We'll make this one short and sweet if you watched our last video. All right. So we've got Cryptic Serpent, Faith of the Devoted, Watchers of the Dead, Sweltering Sons, Token in a Land. So we're hoping for that invocation. Not going to be in this one. Uh, we've got a um, let's say start and finish a battlefield scavenger seraph of the suns a bounty of the luxa and a foil angler drake I have a drake you can angle oh lord <laughs> Jason showed up to give us some uh, commentary on this one all right, we've got a, a True Heart Twins, a Grasping Dunes, Belful Emmet, and a Channeler Initiate, and a Foil Greater Sandworm that I thought was a 2020 uh, before the set came out. So it is far from a 2020. A Full Art Land, and a Token. I can't believe Greater Sandworm. You didn't have any comment to that? I did. You, you went too fast for me there. Okay, all right. Oh, we've got a good card in this pack. So, um, here we go. Let's see what it is. Rona's Monument. Stir of the Sands. On Crop Champion. A Dust Till Dawn. And an Invocation. Pact of Negation. I knew it was blue, just didn't know which one. So that's the second best one. Uh, Force of Will obviously being the the, the, the go-to blue invocation. So uh, there you go. You can get invocations out of fat packs. So let's uh, take a trip down, down to Value Town. We've still got six more packs to go. So let's hope for a uh, sweet Planeswalker, and, and this will be an awesome bundle. Why don't you tell the watchers how to, uh, the directions to Value Town? You, 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 I think you take a left at uh, 
Uh, I'd spend some money. I'd spend some money, and then, uh, uh, you know, maybe, I don't know. How else does it go? How do you get there? Take, I think take a ride on Good Luck Road. Good Luck Road, and then you end up with one of these when you get there. So, All right, Embalmer's Tools. God, I've got my stacks messed up now. Enigma Drake. Trial of Knowledge. And a Pull From Tomorrow. The card's actually pretty good. Instant draw X cards, then discard a card. That's uh, pretty solid in my book. Now, the real question is, can you get two invocations in a, in a bundle? Because, I mean, technically with a booster box, you know, you're only going to have, there are one every 72 packs, so one every three boxes. But I don't know how they package these bundles, so, I mean, maybe you could get two. That would be nuts. All right. Wayward Servant. Watchers of the Dead. Shadow Storm Vizier. And an Avon Mind Sensor. <clears throat> so if you're a Legacy player, that's a exciting reprint. Okay, first uncommon. Sacred Excavation, Battlefield Scavenger, Defiant Great Mall, and a Pyramid of the Pantheon. So no Mythic yet. So we've got three more packs to go, but we've got that invocation, and that's that's definitely what we were looking for. So regardless, we're happy. But a mythic would be nice. Lord of the Accursed, Hezeret's Monument, Defiant Great Maul, Regal Caracal. Well, we got a foil in this one. So, Watchful Naga, Deem Worthy, Reduce and Rubble, Drake Haven, and A Mountain. I think if you get the foil of, of these, they're like 15 bucks a piece. Yeah, those are pretty sweet looking. With the foil. Yeah. Alright, last pack. Petra's Mark, Limits of Solidarity, Merciless Javelinier, and a Dispossess. So no Mythics in this one, but we, we scored this really, really sweet Invocation. Uh, when you're opening this set, these are what you're looking for. 1 in 72 packs. Sweet, awesome foil. They turned out looking a lot better than I thought initially, what they were going to look like. In person, they look pretty awesome. Um, thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let all your friends know. Check us out online, www.thebattlegroundsgames.com. Uh, hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all other social media outlets you can probably find us on. Um, this is Michael, and I'm Jason. And we'll talk. See you next time.